use of random state parameter with the train test split function. The train test split function is used to split the data set into random train and test subsets. After the splitting, the training subset is used to build the model and the testing subset is used for the evaluation of model performance. In order to use train test split function, we need to import that from the model underscore selection module of the sklearn library. To get the subsets, we need to pass three different parameters at least. The first parameter is data, second parameter is splitting proportion and the third parameter is random seed. Here x and y values represents the data set where x is the input samples and y is the target values. In order to specify splitting proportion, we have two parameters, train underscore size or test underscore size. We can use any one of these two to represent the proportion. If you specify the test size, automatically that will decide train size. In the same way, if you specify the train size, that will automatically specify the test size. In order to specify either test size or train size, we need to use a real value between 0 and 1. And the next argument is the random state which represents the random seed value. This value actually controls how the data is shuffled before splitting. For the random state, the default value is none. With the default none value, we can get different test and train samples across different executions. That means, with the default value of random state, the shuffling process is out of control. If we specify explicitly the value of the random state, then we can get the same samples in both training as well as testing subsets across different executions. This train test split function returns four subsets. The first subset represents x training samples. Second subset represents x test samples. Third subset represents y train samples, four subset represents y test samples. Now let us see some example. First I am taking two lists. The first list into x variable, second list into y variable. So where x represents input sample values, y represents the corresponding target values. Here the input data is having only single dimension that means one feature value. I am running this cell. And then I am importing train test split function from model selection module of the sklearn library. Then I am using train test split function with x and y variables as data set. Then I am using test underscore size argument with 0.2 as value. That means among all the data samples, 20% of the data samples are assigned to test set and the remaining 80% of the samples are assigned to train set. So that means among all these 10 samples, training subset will contain 8 samples from it, testing subset will contain 2 samples from it. And these are all the subsets I will get from this train test split function. Then I am displaying all these subsets. I am running this cell. Now I got these 8 samples into X train and these corresponding outputs into y train and these two samples into x test and the corresponding outputs into y test. If you observe the training data set contains 8 samples, testing data set contains 2 samples because we have given 0.2 as the proportion for test underscore size. Now if I run the cell again, I will get different values into all these data sets. So that means for each execution, randomly I will get different values into these subsets. So here the shuffling process we cannot control because we are using the default value none with random state parameter. Now we are going to assign some value to the random state parameter. Here I am assigning the value 19 to the random state. Then let me run this. Then I got these values into subsets. Again I am running the cell. Again I got the same values. Again I am running. I got the same values again. That means even with the multiple executions, 
I am getting the same values into these subsets. So that means the randomness you can control with the help of random underscore state parameter here. If I change this parameter from 19 to 9, I will get different set of values into these subsets. See I got different values here. Even with multiple executions, since the random state I am maintaining 9, I will get the same values into these subsets. See here. So in this way we can use the random state parameter to get same example values into subsets for every execution.